A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for uh, keeping it to Y in the morning. This is Y254. My name is Ram Aguko. And as always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every Monday morning. You're just in time for the next conversation of today. And as always, it's all about youth and politics. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We're also streaming live on our website www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Engage with us. We shall uh, uh, sample your feedback as we proceed with this morning conversation. Now, uh, the hashtag is uh, Y in the morning at Ram Maguko. Tag me. Uh, that is my handle at uh, Y254 channel is the official station handle. And as always, it will be a pleasure being with you from now till the tail end of this particular conversation as we talk about politics, things that have been trending in the past one week, and of course, uh, issues to do with uh, the youth in in this particular uh, country and uh, joining me in studio i am with alpha mwangi mwaura who is uh, the uh, uh, national coordinator of young professionals and smes he also holds a position within uda as the youth league leader karib sana alpha you're well Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, 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 as you saw on our posters, we were also supposed to be joined by uh, Saddam Gashia, who is the chairman of the uh, Democratic Party Youth League. Once he is here, he shall be able to join us. But the show must go on. Keep engaging with us. Let us know where you're watching us from, and we shall sample your feedback as we continue with this morning conversation. Now, in uh, the past one week, we, had, uh, we have had a lot of changes in politics, including the shift of uh, Honorable Musale Mudavadi, the NC, NC leader, and uh, Honorable uh, 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 Moses Wetangula, who is the Ford Kenya leader, coming to UDA. What does it mean? And uh, now we are seeing the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, uh, Kenya. Kwanzaa Alliance that has been formed and uh, we shall also talk about that also including that we shall talk about the uh, the leadership within Nairobi County so let me start uh, uh, on the issue of uh, UDA uh -huh. you have new members in the, it's, it's like your family has grown uh -huh. I'm looking at the current debate about who is going to be uh, the presidential candidate, uh -huh. who is going to be the running mate. Uh -huh. I don't know, what are your thoughts in regards to that? Because it's starting in a lot of uh, a debate with NC leader who had said that, uh, and I quote, yes, ultimately, we shall name the candidate who will fly the Kenya Kwanzaa flag in the elections. However, uh, uh, at the moment, our priority is to unite Kenyans and score, uh, and ensure we have a peaceful elections. That's what Honorable Musa, Musa Lam David has said. What are your thoughts? Well, thank you, Ram. Uh, it is true. No, wacha ni kurekebisha kidogo. UDA, Musalia Mudavadi, Honorable Musalia Mudavadi has not joined UDA. What we did is we've grown as a family. We've, uh, we've accommodated Honorable Musalia Mudavadi of ANC and uh, Honorable Wetangula to come and do a Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance. Uh -huh. And that was culminated at Bomas. I was there. Uh, it was a beautiful event. Is and that uh, joining UD? Is it just th that? No, that's not joining UD. Oh, it is, oh, it is an alliance. It's an alliance, yeah. They still maintain their identities. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh -huh. And so, I, 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 I believe these are leaders who, who are also thinking on uh, how we can grow uh, mm. the alliance further. So, this is not the end. The mm. Musalia Mudavadi promised an earthquake. Uh, it was delivered. delivered. Now wait, wait, wait for more. <laughs> wait for more. Some were saying it was just a tremor. Ah no, you, you, you know you, you have to give credit where credit is due. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And we also be expecting uh, other members, probably someone like uh, the national national assembly speaker Justin mm -hmm. Mutuli mm -hmm. of, uh, and other like-minded leaders mm -hmm. joining us, mm -hmm. so that we can grow the family, unite Kenyans. And from the next government, mm -hmm. yes. Now, um, in regards to what I had asked earlier, in uh, on who is going to f who is going to to take the Kenya Kwanzaa flag uh -huh. to the general elections, uh -huh. your thoughts on that? Uh, it is work in progress. Mm -hmm. I believe the three leaders, as per now, 
are able, and also other leaders who have been uh, in UDA, are able to have a discussion as we move forward mm. on who is best suited. Uh, for me, my party leader is His Excellency, the Deputy President, William Samoy Ruto. Mm -hmm. That is the person I'm voting for. Mm -hmm. That is the person that I believe can take this country forward. Mm -hmm. uh, and he strongly believes in the youth agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Saddam Gashi is uh, joining us also on set. Uh, Saddam, karibu sana. Thank you very much, Ron. Uh, you're well? I'm well. Morning. Good morning. Pole, najua uh, ulikuwa na tafuta njia kufika hapa, lakini the economy is hard. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we, we blame Corona. Uh, not per se. <laughs> but you're well. I'm well. Uh, uh, tell us your thoughts about this particular issue here that uh, you've heard what Alpha has said. Yeah. And uh, it's quite clear that uh, he's uh, 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 saying at the moment, UDA is yet to, uh, uh, you know, unveil publicly who the flag bearer shall be, but he's saying the bottom-up approach is uh, is the way. And I remember what Honorable Musala Mudavadi also mentioned. He said that uh, the principles and the and the ideologies of UDA in regards to the economic uh, economic plan to take the country to the next level are in line with his plans, and therefore he joined, uh, uh, you know, in an alliance with the UDA. Your thoughts in regards to that? Uh, thank you very much, Ram. Uh, first and foremost, it is apparently very clear mm -hmm. that the bromance between UDA and ANC is a, is a culmination or it's a, it's a convergence of leaders whose, uh, whose levels of integrity are wanting. Mm -hmm. We know we have in the in those that in that bromance we have someone whose name is synonymous with corruption. We have uh, among the leaders there whose uh, we have leaders whose names feature in every com uh, corruption scandal. The new entrant into this bromance uh, per se has very little or nothing to offer to, 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 to that alliance, if I may say. Mm -hmm. If you have five members of parliament and you have none or uh, maybe one left on your side, I think in terms of the electorates or in terms of the voters being uh, inclined to, to that bromance is very minimal. Mm -hmm. What I also would like to add, uh, Buanaram, mm -hmm. this slogan of Kenya Kwanzaa, this was initially a slogan of the uh, of the Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly. Mm. When we had, uh, when we were doing uh, talks between the One Kenya Alliance and the Speaker and the Mount Kenya Forum, that is when that name came and was coined. So the, the initiative was we, we have a Kenya Kwanzaa initiative. Now this goes ahead to show that we have some leaders in this country whose main agenda is to take people's ideas, is to take people's possession forcefully, is to take what is not originally theirs. So what we are saying, this bromance between the, the deputy president and the ANC party leader, they should come up with their, with their own slogans or, and make sure that they don't uh, they don't use people's slogan at the expense of the original in, in inventors of the slogan. Well, um, and I'd like to give you time to respond to that. Uh -huh. Honorable Justin Muturi, the speaker, said mm -hmm. this, the speaker of the Senate said this, if you would walk along thicker road, the, and I quote, uh -huh. if you would walk along thicker road, you could see my billboard that read Kenya Kwanzaa. But you see, they have taken it too. Sasa wewe unapora hata slogan yangu. End of quote. Mm. <laughs> respond. Thank you very much. First, uh, let me respond to the issue of the slogan. Uh, Kenya Kwanza, we've had Kirinyaga Kwanza, we've had so many Kwanzas. There is nothing new under the sun. It's mm. nothing new. Mm. So, uh, anything, even America first, there was America first. This mm. is a slogan. It's like I'm taking a yellow color and you're saying, I used to have a yellow color in my party. This is a slogan. Mm. And uh, whatever initiative that uh, we, we, we've decided that... Uh, Kenya is moving forward, and Kenyans must come first. Mm -hmm. Now, my friend uh, Saddam, there's uh, there's something that I can see you're not in tune with your party leader. Your party leader and can quote today's paper. Uh, Rabbi Justin Muturi, he's my friend. I respect him a lot. Uh, that your party leader has said this. 
and uh, we must be honest even as as youth we must be honest he has said this uh, that people who have been together and this is referring to our new alliance which you claimed uh, these are two leaders who have nothing to offer and they are they, they have integrity questions that when we were together when you were in nasa honorable musali mudavadi that time you were very clean now that you are with william ruto you've started labeling him as corrupt you have scandals you have everything let us be honest this is speaker muturi who is saying so and he has said he has gone on and and said i will consult with party members uh on what coalition to join you see so do not rule out even uh on Rabu justin muturi joining us uh, it is very clear that we cannot be engaged with people whose characters are wanting we have a scenario where the deputy president's name pops up in every corruption scandal in this country i would like also to tell you we have his if you look at his leadership traits he's one person who was who joined politics courtesy of the of the late retired president moi later worked with honorable Raila Odinga. now he's working with president uhuru kenyatta if you check his political career spanning over 20 years now he has turned against Pre retired the late president moi goes ahead to say that he was he was he was not a good leader he also gone ahead to insult the former prime minister as mganga he has gone again now insulting the president i'm asking who is best in terms of why is he always the right one why is it always after working with somebody he all he always has a way of going ahead and insulting previous uh, colleagues what we are saying in this country mm -hmm. we have leaders who characters are wanting we have leaders who have perfected the art of taking what is not rightfully theirs and making it theirs in terms of property in terms of slogans i'm wondering what next will it w w w he will take and make it his mclaren call to the people of this country watch these le leaders and put them on a wing scale or a benchmark of integrity if you have somebody who's who who we have people in his office who either disappear are involved in accidents or perish uh, under unclear circumstances we have the late sergeant kipiegon kenway that is a case still in court we have the late uh, corporal, corporal makto we have uh, somebody karaoke, I think Anthony karaoke, who perished in an accident. We have recently the chief of staff, Osinde. What, are what I'm, are insinuating, I'm insinuating that why is it very common for people to perish and in his office? Okay, what do they know that Kenyans don't know? I think, I, I, I think in, in, in regards to that, uh, mm -hmm. because some of these cases are, are still in court, mm -hmm. we may not be able to jump into conclusion. Mm -hmm. But to say that uh, one leader is bad because they have a court case mm. can't quite hold water i'm not saying because, that because I, I, at the end of the day it's mm. all about what policy they have what they have done mm. and what they can do is that so it's true it's about policy but all of what i'm pointing out that let's um th this is my call to kenyans let's weigh these leaders Le they are very good at rhetorics and 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 in this uh, in this case taking people's slogan let, uh, let them show what their footprint are. You have okay. a career spanning over 20 years. Tell us Ram. what you have achieved our, for our, this country. Our, 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 yes. Let's move forward. And, uh, and uh, this is my call, mm. even as we unite as uh, young people, that we cannot come here and discuss our leaders negatively. It is of importance to Kenyans that we discuss our leaders with their merits. Let us bring forward, like for me, I, I can speak on behalf of the Deputy President, speak on behalf of Justin Moturi, don't speak on behalf of my leader. Did, no, no, I'm not we, speaking we on behalf of my leader. Did mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. We didn't come here to discuss our leaders negatively. So if he has any... He has nothing po positive to discuss. Bro, do, I need do, do, to Let me get it straight. Let me get it straight here. Um, we have the issue of the economic plan mm -hmm. that uh, both... Uh, 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 leaders have. Uh -huh. Of course, Honorable Musala Mudavadi has the Uchumi Bora plan, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, of course, Honorable uh, William Ruto has the issue of uh, uh, the bot bottom up. They all focus on bringing up the Kenyan who is uh, on the ground. Mm -hmm. And, um, and say, let's speak the truth here mm -hmm. that is a youth.
Yeah. We are all youths here. Yeah. So the question is, now what is our plan when it comes to bringing up the youth in this nation moving forward? What is the plan of your party? What is the plan of your party? Because at the end of the day, that is what matters. That is what that matters, Ram. Mm -hmm. And I wish that is what we would deal, deal with right now and dwell on so much. Mm -hmm. That what is the plan? What is the agenda of our presidential candidates? What is the agenda of our leaders? Rather than dealing with the things that cannot be substantiated. I, I, I am aware that you're vying for senatorial seat in Na yes, Nairobi County. Yes, I'm vying County. for Nairobi Senate. Uh, I'm the incoming Nairobi <laughs> Senator, actually. <laughs> uh, my friend Sakanja is outgoing and he's going for another he's saying a higher seat uh -huh. Governor, i believe senator is even higher if uh -huh. we were to take it seriously uh -huh. uh, and i have my plan for nairobi youth uh -huh. i have my plan for small business traders i have my plan for the parents of nairobi if you're a parent listening to me your future the future of your kids is safe with senator alpha so uh going straight to our agenda our agenda is very clear uh -huh. bottom up Mm. Now that you've joined with ANC, tunasema ni bottom up, uh, uchumi bora, pesa mfukoni. Mm. And uh, it, it's self-explanatory. What we've been doing is that uh, for me as a senator, as a senator, an incoming senator, there is one of my agenda that it is to mobilize. This is the capital city. It's to mobilize a billion plus funds for the young people of this country to be able to carry out good initiatives, and uh, which is related to business, creative arts. I'll mm -hmm. be setting up my first uh, creative studio in Sarehe constituency, which is the heart of Nairobi, I believe. Mm -hmm. But this will happen as, uh, as we progress in the rest of the 17 constituencies. So, so th that is for the, 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 the creatives? The creatives. The youth. Yeah, the, the creatives. Youth, the youth. Uh, you know, it's a good thing, ladies and gentlemen, that we're dealing with youth league chairpersons here. Now, as a youth league chairperson for yeah. your, your own party, yes. uh, 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 how would you respond to that? And of course, what plan do you have as an individual, and no, as an individual party, rather? Uh, thank you very much, Ram. Uh, our main focus uh, in the Democratic Party, our main agenda is to fight corruption. It mm. is evident and it is very clear. Also, the President, His Excellency President Huru Kenyatta mentioned it, that we are losing close to two billion every day. Okay? So, we in the Democratic Party have intentionally and deliberately set our economic recovery plan to be anchored on fighting corruption. Mm. The other thing that we are going to do we, in terms of the economic uh, recovery agenda, we are going to stop borrowing locally. It is, in Kenya today, it is more lucrative for any financial institution to lend money to the government. Mm. We in the, in the Democratic Party believe that the government should not be allowed to borrow, to borrow locally. Why am I saying this? We are going to make sure that only Kenyans borrow from local financial institutions to enable them get, get this credit facility. The other thing, we are going to use our minerals, uh, the, the minerals we have currently, to source for international bonds. Okay? Mm. The other thing, we are going to ensure that we get extra money from, for example, the World Bank, wh whose uh, interest rate is minimal, then we offset the Chinese loans, which is at an interest rate of 16%, to ensure that we, we, our economy recovers uh, on a higher trajectory. Mm. What I would like to do is to debunk this narrative that there is an economic model called bottom-up. There is none. I'm an, a student of economics, and I can tell you for sure there is no economic model called bottoms-up. It is so sad that after being in government for close to 10 years, since 2013 mm. to date, under your leadership, Mr. Deputy President, we are losing close to two billion every day. And when the president insists on doing uh, the internal audit, you go ahead and say it is political witch hunt. We ca can say categorically today that since 2013 to date, you have not empowered a single Kenyan. You started in 2013, you promised stadiums, you, you Mr. President, uh, Deputy President, you, you promised uh, a million jobs every year. Mr. Deputy President, you promised, uh, uh, you, pro you, uh, you promised jobs, you promised roads, you promised... Uh, what is your agenda? What is the agenda of the... Let him finish, let him finish. Yes, I'm, I'm hearing you, uh, Saddam. Yes. You can't 
since 2013 promise us all those big things. Then one year to the next election, you come with a different narrative telling us bottoms up. What I'm telling Kenyans, these are only slogans meant to lure people. He should come and tell us what he has done since 2013. Okay? okay? We, the Democratic Party, believe that this country is bigger than each and every leader. That's why we came with this slogan, Kenya Kwanzaa, now, telling them that c citizens should come first, not their interests first. Now, at, at, at the end of the day, also, let's remember uh, to keep tweeting, keep talking to us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko and that Y254 channel. Mm -hmm. Which party is it that is going to take the country forward? Who has the uh, 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 manifesto? Whose principles do you subscribe to? And who do you believe is going to win? Honorable Raila Odinga said this, and I quote, this is what he said uh, 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 in Muranga. I have worked with both of them. One was my deputy as a prime minister, as well as a minister for local government, and the other became the agriculture minister. So uh, Honorable Raila Odinga told his supporters uh, in Moranga, that is on uh, Saturday, that he has uh, 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 poked holes in this particular ANC UDA alliance, terming its leaders as corrupt and scandalous in their reign in government. Now, respond to what Honorable Raila Odinga said, because now that is also um, something that uh, uh, many Kenyans are also wondering. Uh -huh. um, how do you plan to take us forward? Uh, considering the fact that you know it is a political season and of course things will be said mm -hmm. how do you move forward from that and what should Kenyans believe at the end of the day well uh, politics uh, is an interesting game and uh, Honorable Raila Odinga has worked with uh, almost close to all the top leaders right now in Kenya those are the senior citizens mm -hmm. from uh, His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, Musalia Mudavadi, Wetangula, name them. Mm. Uh, and I have a lot of respect for the Right Honorable Prime Minister. I would not come here and call him names because there are things that I've learned even from him. Mm. And uh, there are things that I disagree with, but respectfully. Mm. And I want to tell the young people this, that uh, for me as Alpha, vying for a Senate position in Nairobi, with or without the Deputy President or uh, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, Wadusi Wangu Minini, it is the citizens, it is you that will choose your leader. It is not about, uh, because all these leaders have at one time worked together. Mm -hmm. If they have their own differences, mm -hmm. let them be ideological. Let us not get into personal. Now, Gachir, yes, sir. you're saying some of these leaders are thieves. Yeah. Your party leader said this, and I quote, yeah. They call their former counterparts thieves who stole maize while serving in government. They ate public monies. They sold graves. They should also take responsibility of their colleagues because they must have been thieves too. Why didn't they call them thieves when they were together politically? That is your party leader. Yeah. Aren't you going on the opposite direction with what your party leader is saying? No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I, I mean parallel with my party leader, Ram. Mm. What you are saying, if you are in, in any way mentioned in a corruption case from okay mm -hmm. and now few years to the next election you come up with so many good narratives it is so sad mm -hmm. number two uh i have a, a cabal of leaders talking of something ups and Pesa my um, Fukoni or something, but my clear, my what 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 uh, the question that begs is, when you are the minister of finance, it is when we had the increment is pay as you earn uh, tax levies, okay? Mm. Now, couple of years later, you have rebranded yourself, repacked yourself to now tell us that Pesa Fukoni, you didn't find it relevant there to ensure that we had Pesa Fukoni. Another thing. Now, uh, just before you, you continue, mm. isn't your own party leader saying that it is now irrelevant to call somebody mm. 
a thief. Uh, he only said it is irrelevant to call somebody a thief mm. since when you were, you were together, mm. you didn't call him a, a thief. thief. That's the only question that he, but the, my party leader is very consistent. He, he says it as he sees it. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, now, uh, West Mugurango member of parliament, mm. the Honorable Vincent Kemosi, mm. said this, and I quote, mm. it is high time that you, speaking to your party leader, mm. now join us in Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance mm. and form the next government with Ruto. Your thoughts? Uh, I would want to, to, to preempt anything. This is politics. Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. But we will not shy away from telling people what is the truth and what everybody is, is not willing or not ready to tell them. Okay? Mm -hmm. it is what, what is very absurd and very ironical is that we have leaders who have perfected the act of swindling, coercing, okay? and mm. lying to Kenyans that they are these type of leaders who are they are the contrary. Why am I saying this? Mm. It is very absurd, Mr. Ram, to the extent that we have an illegal dealings in your premise, okay? As much as it is a case under a, in court, you should be able to come up very clearly and tell us what really transpired. I'll give you another example. We recently had a gathering in Eldoret where people used some very sad phrases. On the backdrop of the 20, 2007 election, 2013, 2017, you can fool some people sometime. You cannot fool all the people all the time. All right. Okay? And they have made it their sole agenda mm. to target the Honorable uh, former Prime Minister with all manner of insults. But I'm telling them, watch this space you will be surprised that something else comes up. All right. Don't uh, trail all your guns on Honorable Raila Molodinga. We should not put all our... <laughs> yeah. I'll, yeah. Politics changes. Yeah. All right. let, let me give you, give you time to respond to uh, what you've uh, heard him say. Uh, let him, let uh, my, my, my friend not be so so again it's because they might find themselves in our team and then you look like a fool because who are you you see for me uh, before honorable musalia mudavadi joined us and even sakaja joined us i wasn't so much against whatever they are doing i was so much pro whatever i want to do for the people of nairobi and whatever my party advocates for let me respond to something there is no policy as uh, we want to fight corruption how do you fight corruption how do you fight corruption Fighting corruption is all about making sure that systems work. And when systems work, people are happier, people have more money in their pockets. That is the, the goal. Hasn't your own party leader also said that he wants to fight for corruption? To, to fight can't corruption. Be, but it can't be. You can't lie to Kenyans that that is your number one agenda. Tell us what is your agenda and be consistent. Like if you go to any primary or uh, secondary school and ask what is the agenda of the deputy president, what a same and bottom up. And our leaders are the same. What is the agenda of uh, Justin Moturi? How are you? Go ask. If I, ask, if I may. No, no, no. Go, chill. <laughs> Go ask uh, any kid outside here. What is the agenda of Azimio? Have, have you done the research? To, have you gone on the ground to and ask people and you've realized uh, that is true? Definitely. Let me, let me respond to <laughs> that. Alpha. No, 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 let me respond to that, Rab. Rab, let me respond to that. <laughs> this is Kenya, Kenya. Kenya is a very funny place, but it's a beautiful country. Uh -huh. It is the only place whereby it is politicians who come and tell you what they need to do for you. What they need to do for you. Not listen to you and respond with solutions. And that is what I have done different. I have been carrying out my listening tours. You haven't heard me for a long time. I have been hustling. I am a, I'm a young person and have been listening to Nairobians before I responded with solutions. So let Kenyans take this seriously. You might say that you do not want to get into politics, but politics will take interest in you and in your life. Yes. Uh, Ram, if I can quickly respond to my brother here. Uh -huh. We, uh, he has a, a perfect example uh -huh. where he goes and says that if you go to any kid, ask them what's the agenda for uh, William Ruto. <laughs> but also, if you go to that kid and ask Muizi Kenya Ninani, uh -huh. What will be his response? Akuna. It is very clear. <laughs> it is very clear. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's, know, let's not go to that yeah, name calling. Uh, 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 but uh, but uh, uh, as a finish, uh, as a finish, uh -huh. you also added that 
corruption cannot be it can only be fought you said through Systems. systems. I agree but also corruption is fought through the legal framework that's why you have chapter 6 that's and chapter 10 okay chapter 10 is on governance and and public governance mm -hmm. where we it is very clear if one is mentioned in any corruption case mm -hmm. this this idea of saying that the cause is, uh, the ca uh, the case is in court you are innocent until proven guilty is not working in this country because if i may ask you okay why is it synonymous with one single individual mm -hmm. okay since 2013 to date after after all this covid uh, pandemic every kenyan is feeling the pinch we have an individual who has consistently on an on an on a trajectory of amassing wealth okay since 2013 to date look at what he has achieved in terms of economy economically he has the best helicopters in this country, mm -hmm. whereas we have 58% of Kenyans living below the poverty line, he has built our house worth 1.2 billion in Sugoi since 2013 to date. Well, nice. Now here he comes nice. and tell us and tells us that he's a Sadam, very. Are you are you are you are you are you, are you, are you being malicious? No 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 no. Are no, no, you no, being no. malicious? I'm being realistic and talk, telling yeah, Kenyans. Okay, let me let me also be, be let, let me also be realistic. Yeah, okay. And quote Honorable uh, 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 Mose. Yeah. who is uh, Shadrach Moses the Kitutu from Kitutu, Kitutu Masaba. Mm. And I quote, It doesn't benefit you to abuse my person. Just sell your policies and look out for people to judge your ability. Very good. Okay. Have you done so as your as the Democratic Party? We are doing so, and yesterday we are in Nyamira, mm -hmm. and we are consistently doing it. What we want to do is debunk this narrative that you have people who are holier than thou who walk into churches and preach and quote all manner of verses, we are telling Kenyans, see mm. through their talks. Mm -hmm. Let them show through actions. You cannot, uh, for example, we have a grievance lot here in, uh, along Thika Road, we have a market, Gidroi market, yeah. where this grievance lot are saying, somebody came here and promised us some goodies. Mm. They are not yet delivered. For example, my brother, mm. I, ha I have one particular leader who was in Kisumu, Kondele, where he, he stands on a podium and says, what to people of the, the Boda Boda sector, Boda Boda riders, mm. now patia million in Bili. If you give million in Bili to the Boda Boda riders of Kisumu, okay, and they are almost 5,000 heading to 10,000, what money have you given them? It looks right, right, right. lucrative on the podium, but it is not practical. So we are urging Kenyans to see leaders mm. on their nature of uh, on their solutions and how practical their solutions are. All right, I've, I've heard from 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 Democratic Party, mm -hmm. but but in New Deal also, you still have cobwebs. Because uh -huh. at, at, at the end of the day, um, let me quote Honorable uh, Samuel Arama, Nakuru Member of Parliament. He said, "If you want to be elected, be wise and avoid many controversies, like contro uh, contradicting norms." Avoid controversies even in funerals. Wow. If you want to be elected, be wise and avoid many controversies. Looking at how UDA is, uh -huh. do you think you're following this particular advice here? No, Honorable uh, Arama is entitled to his uh, opinion. Uh, my good friend here seems to have researched so much on, on malicious and propaganda against the Deputy President. Rather than research so much on how Honorable Justin Muturi is the best suited leader for this country and come tell us. You see, don't dwell so much on my party leader and uh, the propaganda against him. Dwell so much on your agenda as a democratic party and <laughs> on your agenda as a, as a national youth league leader for democratic party rather than so much propaganda and hate against the deputy president. The deputy president is a Kenyan first. He is a leader. He is the second in command. He worked with His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta to form the first government. They formed the second government. I haven't heard you talk about, when you're talking about the, the ills of the government, I haven't heard you talk about uh, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, who I supported so much during the TNA, the TNA formation. And so this is what I'm asking Kenyans to do. Even as you see 
and look for the right leaders. Also take your take your take your time and uh, and, and 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 get involved in these processes so that you are able to know what is propaganda and what is the truth. And let us dwell so much on the things that can move this country forward more than the things that uh, that puts us asunder. I've heard him also talk about the, the hate speech uh, remarks in uh, Eldoret, which uh, I think it's Honorable Inturi who, who spoke, and he was taken out of context with that remark. I don't support that remark myself. Mm. Uh, but uh, let us not politicize everything. This is something that has been used by Right Honorable uh, in Meru. He he named he said the same the same the same word but in a different it, context. So for, of course it's in context. Yes, yeah, context. In a different context. So yeah. it was ill informed for maybe Honorable Rintuli to mention that word there, but we've taken it too far with this. Let us dwell on the good things that we can achieve together as Kenyans, mm -hmm. rather than the things that divide us, and especially as youths. I want to challenge you. Next time, come with your come with your agenda. Let us discuss the agendas. Bottom up is something that is so serious. No, you, uh, you, you, he hasn't told us what is your model. What is your model? If I may respond, Ram. Yes, you may uh, respond. We in the Democratic Party, uh -huh. we are not dwelling so much on the models. Bottom up is not a model. It's just a slogan. They are using it to lure and entice Kenya. I'm a student of economics. I can tell you. It is not a, any part of a model. Mm. It is. It has never been used in any part of this world. Can you check? Something else. Uh, 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 yeah, check it. Check. Check. Yeah. It's a model. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. <laughs> look, look. You, you know, we 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 will have a conversation you, about that particular a model with economists. No, 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 but no. let me finish. But, let me but, finish. But finish what, what you're saying because I'm of time. saying yes. in terms of solutions to the problems ailing Kenyans. I'll use an example. When we had two brothers in Kianjokoma, Mr. Ram, who were, who were very much okay. hurt, okay? Yeah. Yeah. We went there, the Honorable Speaker went there, mm. and issued uh, statements and orders to ensure that justice is served to the family, okay? Mm. Right now, we have close to six police officers Facing murder charges in a court of law. All right, let me ask you. When are you, we say, are you going? Are, are you is uh, DP D, D, going to uh, uh, which alliance is uh, DP going to, to to form at the end of the day? Are we seeing UDA side or Azimiola Omoja? Which alliance? Uh, no, not speaker. yet. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, speaker. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm saying DP, the Democratic, Democratic Party. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. The Democratic <laughs> Party, Ram. Eh? <laughs> if I may say, yeah. we are not yet into this business of coalitions. Mm -hmm. Not yet, it's still very early in time. Okay, so, all right. Right now, we are, main agenda is popularizing our candidate, the Honorable Speaker, and listening to the grievances Kenyans are talking about. Finding practical solutions to their problems. Uh -huh. uh, y y y let's uh, have a final word for the, from the both of you, mm -hmm. because of the interest of time. I'm mm -hmm. giving you 30 seconds each. Have a final word. Let me start with you, Sanam. Th seconds. Thank you very much. Uh, what I can urge Kenyans as we uh, approach this electioneering period, let us use integrity as a benchmark to ensure that we have the right leaders in place because these are the people who we are going to entrust the future of our children, our economic businesses, our future to ensure that we are on the right trajectory. Let us not elect people based on their slogans and their popular, uh, popularity. Let, let us ask them what they have recently and show their track record. If it is synonymous with corruption, if it is synonymous with criminal dealings, let them shun, shun them and ensure that we have the right leaders. I'm asking Kenyans to consider and I vote for the Honorable Speaker Justin Muturi. All right. uh -huh. Well, uh, your incoming Senator Alpha Maura, my call really is to the young people of this country. When the young people of this country uh, live well, when the young people of this country are happy, then the rest of the community is happy. Let us all get into hard work. Let us get involved into processes. We are very powerful if we unite. Let us not agree to be deceived or uh, separated due to tribal or any other affiliations, whether it is party or any other affiliations. And uh, I'm calling upon everyone to join me 
support support my candidature as the senator aspirant and uh, I believe I will do a good job for you in the future it's here. Alright. All right. All right. Uh, now uh, that is uh, <laughs> uh, a very interesting conversation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to my extreme right is uh, Alpha Mwangi, uh, aspiring senator, uh, Nairobi County. I wish you the best. Asante Samara. And also the, the UDA Youth League chairman. And I'm also with uh, Saddam Gachie, the chairman of the Youth League uh, Democratic Party. Now, Honor Borello Denga said that youths don't need wheelbarrows as jobs. They need better jobs, not wheelbarrows. Yet, Honor Boruto said that Raila does not understand the life of the poor. At the end of the day, who is right? It is you to decide. May God bless you. May God bless the work of hands. This is why in the morning. Keep it locked right here on Y254, but keep engaging with us. The hashtag is why in the morning. My name is Ram Aguko. This is why in the morning.